Hey YouTube, this is going to be really short, I promise you, and it is about the e.l.f. Putty blushes. I have one Bali today, and I am loving, I am loving this one. And I did order three more of the Putty blush brushes. They, I saw it back on the e.l.f. site, and then when I went back to order it, it didn't show up at all. I put in blush brush. This did not show up. I put in putty blush brush. It did not show up. So I'm like, did they discontinue this thing already? Like what? And it was sold out. Well, out of stock on Ulta's website. So I'm like, did they really discontinue this brush? And then I got an email from Elf because I always sign up for stuff because then you get a percentage off. I don't mean to be waving this in your face like that. Sorry. And it was like, oh, the brush you were looking at, don't leave it behind or something like that. And they were doing free shipping on all orders, which for on the Elf website, I think it's $25 or more you get free shipping. But this was just free shipping, period. This was on there. So I ordered three more. <laughs> I don't like that when you wash it, it still has residue. And I did use it today, which is why it has color on there. But even when I wash it, it still retains some of the color because the bristles are all white. Anyway, I do believe the Elf Putty blush is a dupe for the Fenty cream blushes. I really do. And these are $6. I have it somewhere. Let me see. Where is it? I think I put it away. Yeah, I did. I think the blushes are $6. And the brush was $4. Yes, these were $6. And it has... 0 0.35 ounces of product. The Fenty has 0 0.10 ounces of product. And that's like $20, I think. $6 for three times as much. But you're paying three times as much for three times less with the Fenty. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to be using. <laughs> and also because it is in... A hard plastic jar I can use all of the product I do have an allergic reaction to nickel so anytime whether it's a pressed product or a cream product that's in a pan when I hit pan it breaks out the area of my face that I've used that product in and so this I'm excited about I don't know if I'll ever even get through it this entire thing is the product let me see where there's not any print this product goes all the way up to where you see that clear line this is completely full of product 0 0.35 ounces this is a lot and i also have caribbean and then i ordered maldives or maldives which is darker than caribbean so i'm wondering now like is that going to be like way too dark this is caribbean but i'm just really excited about it i really like them it goes on really great with this brush and i'm sure you can use any dual fiber brush or any type of brush you want to but this to me just gives it a really nice blend and it blends into my skin tone that there's no harsh edges and I do go back over it with the brush I use for foundation or if I set my face with powder then I'll likely just you know dot over it or dab over it and that does help tone it down some if, it, if it's too loud so I'm not concerned with Caribbean or Maldives or Maldives being too dark because then I can still tone it down but this one is Bali Oh, I love this color. I love this on me because it looks natural, like a natural flush. And I really like that for those natural, no makeup, makeup days. So anyway, if you are looking for a cream blush, Fenty, I love you, girl. But um, the, the Elf Putty Blush. <laughs> three times as much product for three times less the price. And also, someone was saying they should have should have on here somewhere what the name of it is i did not see it either i was watching someone's video and they said it's on here but it's really hard to see and there is a label here and i could fill it with my finger where is it here's the end of the label oh and it goes all the way to here from here to here but because it's a clear label with really light gray font you can't see shit <laughs> So I don't know if you're seeing that hint of gray. If you are, that's the font. And like if I strain my eyes, I can see distribute. 
p.l.f.cosmetics incorporated blah 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 and it does have the color on here but it's just so hard to read and i'm a label whore so i put a label here with the color and i also put when it expires and i do this for all of my cream and liquid products and my powder products too and so for caribbean i do have caribbean and the expiration date down here but they could have done better with a label put one that you can see or you know have it on the bottom or across the top something they could have did where you would know what color it is without like trying to go blind trying to read it or and and or without having to keep the box i only kept the box to make sure i had the ounce right anyway elf putty blushes love it just for giggles this is bali i should do this when i get the um maldives this is bali and it's like so creamy and it feels oily but it's not and you blend it out look at that oh if you're my complexion and i know my hands are a lot lighter than my face <laughs> but if you're my complexion or lighter i think that would be a great shade for you for like this a neutral color this is caribbean and i have a video where i put one on one cheek and one on the other no i'm not giving you the finger and this is caribbean and when you blend that out look at that and they are buildable look at that oh my gosh but this one right here for a neutral look yeah sorry riri but i'm going with elf for the blush six dollars 0.35 ounces sorry for shaking the camera let me know what your thoughts are on the elf putty blushes if you have them and what colors are your favorite for your complexion for your skin tone and you will see me next video thanks